Going all overboard, 99.7 Bridge FM, the love we make. But we're not going overboard, are we, Johnny? No, we're staying right here because we have in the studio Greg Jones from Sangate Theatre, who's going to let us in on their one-act plays. Uh, good evening, Greg. Good day, uh, Susie and Johnny. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate that. My pleasure. You're, you're most welcome. Now... Sangate Theatre are going to put on five plays. Do they still call them the Cafe One X? Yeah, it's called Cafe One X. So that's coming up in August. Uh, not too far away now. It is August. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We are there. We go. I sort of time jump there. <laughs> but we are in August. Yeah, it is coming up uh, from. Uh, we're coming up from the sixteenth of August uh, that we're starting to do those shows. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very excited because our next production is going to look like it's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people to come along to. Right. So uh, I guess there's going to be five or six shows, two weekends. Mm-hmm. So it's over a couple of weekends. Uh, we start on the 16th and then we finish on the 8th. Uh, sorry, the, it's on the 16th. We go up to the 25th, so it's over two weekends. Okay. Can you let us in on uh, maybe some sort of brief synopsis on these plays? Oh, I'd love to. So what we do, we've got five uh, one-act plays which are going to be showing. Uh, the first one is called A Stab in the Art. Uh, that's a drama that's about 25 minutes long, uh, directed by Christine Lenning, uh, and that play is set in an art gallery that's showing some five very colourful paintings, which are all extremely important in the overall development of the plot. I don't want to give anything away. Mm-hmm, uh, it's good to come along to and see what develops from that. So, How many actors in that play? Uh, so that one, I think we've got... Uh, we've got a couple of actors. I'm, I'm not... Oh, we've got one, two... I don't have... It doesn't matter. Yeah, in that play. It doesn't matter. But we do have a couple of actors in that one. So. But the, the one-act plays are, are good for people starting off in theatre, right, isn't it? That's uh, right, yeah. So... Um, if, you, if you're not really familiar with community theatre, it's a good entry point as well. You've got a lot of variety instead of it being a long sort of show that's drawn out in a couple of acts. You've got five different types of uh, plays that you can see. And in that, um, also, if yeah, if you're interested in, in jumping in, it's a like, little short little piece that you can mm. jump into as, mm. as an aspiring actor or something. It gives them a, a bit of confidence to carry on and want more. That's right, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you get a bit of a taste for the audience. Um, mm-hmm. The audience are, are coming in there as well and, and wanting to see a different, you know, whether it's comedy, uh, it's farce or it's drama or it's something else as well. Mm-hmm. You get to stretch your legs and, yes. um, and get to experience what it's like to um, be an actor in all different types of genres. Yes. Okay, what, what's the second play? Second one is a 10 minute play, it's called Ashes to Ashes. Uh, and that's a, a drama that's uh, written in 2022 by the playwright Jill Curran. Um, and she specialised. She's got been writing about ten minute plays, having written for 20, 21 of them. Uh, so she's got a few behind her. Nashes to Ashes, two sisters are having difficulty resolving a problem. So, given the title of the play, can you think what that issue might be? Uh, is a funeral? Ooh. I want to know if David Bowie's music features in. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> that's very interesting. So you have to come along and see if we've got a yeah a bit of a David Bowie touch to it. Uh, yeah. Now, also, are you going to have? Um, are people going to be seated at tables for this? Yeah, so we've got uh, tables. You can come along and bring your own food, which mm-hmm. is a great thing as well to see in theatre that we'd like to offer. Yeah, we've done that a few times. It, it is a good idea. We've, yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, and you feel you know more relaxed there as well. We also have seating in the upper area at the back as well, so you've got a bit of height there. You can watch it from a different uh, perspective. So bring your own nibblies and uh, your favourite... Um, tipple. Tipple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can bring whatever you like. And also we do offer refreshments as well. So we've got tea and coffee, biscuits, snacks, uh, hot chocolate, that sort of thing as well. And parking's always pretty good around there too, isn't it? It's really good. Uh, if you know where Sangat Town Hall is, it's not far from the from the uh, train station there. Mm-hmm. And there's plenty of parking around as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, number three. Number three. Okay, so third play is a 10-minute two-handler for two ladies. This play is called A Matter of Husbands. It's written in 1923. And the characters in A Matter of Husbands as listed as famous actress and earnest young woman. Ooh. So you kind of get an idea of what the play might be about from that. Sounds mm-hmm. interesting. A Matter of Husbands. <laughs> right. That's good that you have a play with no men in it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Different dynamics there, aren't there? <laughs> and what about music? Will there be live music or how how's it working? There will be some music that will be played uh, during the, yeah. the actual performances, but uh, nothing live that mm-hmm. is being played. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, number four. Number four. It's another 10-minute uh, two-handler. This is from 1923. This is the year of the Charleston appeared. So if you remember oh. the Charleston, anyone out there? <laughs> yeah. I know this one. It's called <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> 
Uh, it concerns a couple of, in their 60s who meet up at a ball. And our, our production of yesterday includes snippets of music from 1923, including, as I mentioned, the Charleston music by uh, Louis Armstrong as well, playing the first band oh, that he was in. Such a I actually, money. I've actually played the male role in this one. Yeah. Um, at a um, retirement home. Yeah, retirement village, if you like. Yeah. So no spoiler alerts. Yeah. <laughs> no spoiler alerts. No, no spoiler alerts. <laughs> but um, it's interesting. It, it's an, it's goes back a few years, but that this play, mm. uh, but it's still um, still amusing. Mm. That's right. And, and number five. five. And number five is it's a longer one act play. This is where we finish our our production. It goes for about thirty five minutes. First performed in 1847. Now, this is one of my favourite genres, which is the French farce. So if you like your comedies, this is, this is quite funny. Mistaken identities. Uh, you get a whole bunch of different themes that come in. That really is hilarious to watch all the way from the beginning to the end. So um, um, You're not going to do it in French, are you? No, not going to do it in French, <laughs> but you do get the French tone coming through it. So it's called Box and Cox. Oh, which is an interesting term. Um, according to Wiktionary, I guess the term box and cox in the English language comes from the title. This play refers to two people who occupy, occupy the same post or location in an alternating arrangement. Oh. So, again, mistaken identities. I, I, I was once uh, on holiday in uh, Paris, and I, I've, heard of, I've heard about Comedy Francais, uh, over the years and I thought I've got to go and see it now it's all in French and I couldn't I've only got high school French so my understanding was minimal but I tell you what I laughed so much during the performance at Comédie Francais I'm glad I experienced it it was wonderful Um, so French farce is Number one, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no, they're great. I, I directed a play, um, uh, Breakfast for One, which was a French farce oh, a couple of years ago too. So it's a great way to end the production on a comedy. Um, yeah. It's something a little bit silly in that sort of line as well. Okay, let's just recap. So Sangate Theatre will be performing five one-act plays at the beautiful Sangate Town Hall from the 16th to the 25th of August. Uh, we mentioned all the plays. Seating will be at tables, so bring your own drinks and nibbles and enjoy the show. Now, to book, you phone Chris on 0403 886 458. I'll repeat that. 0403 886 Four five eight, and um, if you have found difficulty getting that down, just go to ninety nine seven Bridge FM's website nine nine seven FM dot com dot au, and all the information is there. And you can also, um, if you go to the uh, try booking, you can find the information there as well. I believe, Greg. That's right. We also got a link on our website as well, which is uh, www dot sandgatetheatre dot net. Mm-hmm. That's www.sandgatetheatre.net. We'll have a link there for the Try Booking page. Tickets are really at a very good price as well. So it's only $15 for adults and it's $10 for concession. That's for pensioners, students and children. Uh, so, And also you can pay at the door as well. So if you've got cash or card on arrival, you can pay for your ticket there. And will there be an interval? I didn't mention that before. Will there be an interval during the performance? We absolutely do have an interval as well. There's a chance to go out there and get some more refreshments or just take a little bit of a break as well. We also have to change scenes as well. So you imagine backstage. Oh, yes, of course. We have to change scenes. Mm. Okay. And the other point is it won't be so chilly because we're moving on in the year and we've only got the the rest of August for winter. Well, haven't we had a wonderful weekend? uh, Yeah. so, uh, really? yes, we've passed the worst of it. Yes, let's hope so. Thank you, Greg, for coming in to tell us about Sangate Theatre's One Act Plays oh, and uh, Chookers for the show. Thank you yes. very much. I appreciate that. So um, we hope to see you there. All right. I'll definitely try. Well, yes, and uh, just to introduce our next bit of music is a local singer-songwriter, Alex Kosenko, The Start. So the start of the One Act Plays will be great at Sangate Theatre, 99.7, Bridge FM. We're off here. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have the how many actors were in the first one. Because uh, I haven't seen the rest of the yet, but uh, that's all good. And uh, Greg, I took a couple of pictures of you. Are you okay with me putting them up on 97's uh, Facebook page? Thank you.
Appreciate okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we, we can cross promote from Sango Theatre to, yeah. to 997. So, sure. Yeah. What's that? Anyway, we can cross promote as well, 997 in our program. Um, things like that as well. We oh, good. Cool. Yeah. 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 Happy to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Now, this, that card's in there for any of